All right, guys, I am back and I'm not sure if we're creating ephemera or more pockets in this one because I got an idea and, you know, when you get those ideas, you just got to roll with them, right? And then we're just going to see how it all lines up. Right? And I'm thinking it's going to end up being like a journal card. Um, but we'll see. Since I'm kind of already on the turn into things. Um, I just, I'm going to keep with it. Um, cause I, I actually like tore all of it out and I kind of like the way that it looks torn out. Let me just go here. And I'm going to be using some more of that, um, ah, um, pieces from um, Amy at Crafty Cats. Uh, I don't even know what the kit name is. Sorry, Amy. Um, the uh, this kit here. The um, I might have even I'm trying to remember, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to actually glue this first um, before we go much further. Um, yeah, I can't even remember what the name of it is. I, you know, unfortunately, when I get turn on the camera, sometimes um, my brain just kind of zones out and forgets titles or, you know, the name of things. So, yeah. Anyways, um, this is a piece of the ephemera out of the... Uh, um, Sherlock Holmes kit that she has. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be an ephemera card. Um, so yeah, a lot of work. That works. That works. So yeah, we're just kind of hodgepodging these videos together. <laughs> Sorry guys. But um, yeah, you just gotta go with what you're feeling creative at at the moment. Okay. And I'm gonna use these little thumbtacks. This is literally the cutest little kit ever. I'm gonna use them. Like that, I think. I think. And then I, I did something else um, that I think we're going to try on a couple of these little uh, um, little corners that we had from before and we'll just see if it works like with the project overall. So yeah, I am loving that little kit. Like it's full of possibilities, guys. Yeah, I guess what you really could do is just like, like almost cut cut the poke uh, the pokey part because <laughs> I can't think of the actual name of it um, off of them to where it kind of looks like it's going in. Or I guess you could, if you were layering, you could um, put it underneath. But yeah, this is how we roll today. Are you heading out, Boo? Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be home all alone today. At least for a couple hours. So weird. Ha, 
Aha, uh -huh, I like it. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a journal card. Really like that. Left side inked up, and then we'll move on. The next one. Oh, look adorable! I really like that kit of Amy's. All right, so we'll put that up with the finished stuff. All right, now, excuse me, I'm going to cut a couple more out. But um, if you'll remember back to some of the very beginning videos, um, we had some of these big pieces here, or, you know, we cut them down. I have an idea, like a hack, I guess. Idea, hack, whatever you want to call it. But So I'm going to cut a couple of these out of the scraps. And this might end up being actually something we could mass make and we would have fun to do. Okay. Try to maximize the, the use of these things. Just a little bit more so that when I turn and cut, it's not so tight. Are you going? Are you going? Yeah. All right. Bye, babe. Have Bye. a good day. Thank you. That was Bo leaving for work. So here's my idea, my thoughts, since we have four of these size here. Um, I kind of made this, and I don't know at which point you'll be able to see it better. Um, but doesn't that look like a little picture corner? So let's try to recreate that again. Um, what I did is I kind of held the corners because they were long enough, and I just kind of slid it in. So maybe, don't want to lose it in there. Okay. And then I went in about like that and I punched it. So kind of, right? And then kind of rounded it out around those edges to kind of give it a more finished look. And then you could, if you wanted to, round those out, but I'm going to leave mine kind of pokey. So let's see if it on the lighter background. That's kind of what they end up being, which I think they kind of look like those corner rounds, right? So let's keep at it. We'll do four and then see, because I think it's too, yeah, it's too short to go in there. So I got to kind of slide it in there gently, I guess. Okay. And again, I'm just kind of guessing that. And we can probably do it with the smaller ones, but I think we'll end up having to use my smaller punch for those. I don't think that I can get my fingers to work like that with those really tiny ones. Honestly, guys, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Okay. 
I don't know if they're going to be exact, but at least it's a good use of our uh, equipment outside of the norm, huh? I think I might want to do that one over again in this one. I don't know, because I like how deep that one is. So let's see if I can take it a little bit more. Nope. <laughs> nope, you know what? I If I've learned anything, it's leave it or else you'll end up making a bigger mess. So, all right, let's... Let's find one of the bigger pictures, maybe. I'm not sure if I want to do... Two or one? Like, have them, like, two? Because there's something else that I've been wanting to try, too. So, let's see. We got this. So let's, let's ink the edges of this one. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to have to take a break in a little bit from this and go eat because I'm hungry and my back is hurting. I kind of like it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Kind of digging it. See, sometimes we don't need to buy all those fancy things. Oh, that's the wrong ink again. Sorry, guys. And then there's another thing I want to try, and but I'm going to have to find my... tape to do it. Okay. Now we're going to kind of guess here at that benchmark. That looks about right. Okay. I have no idea what pocket that will end up going in, but I like it. There's another one. All right, all right, all right. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Let's see what else we can do. Like I said, I'm kinda using up some scraps here. So I'm gonna pause the video really quick. And I'm actually gonna go get something to drink really quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I 
got fed and watered. So we are all better now, kinda. <laughs> kinda. I'm gonna say kinda with a grain of salt because, you know. Anywho, um, so I'm gonna kinda go in the same vein here and just make a couple more journal cards. And I had another idea and I kind of tried it on, or tried, try it out. There you go. Blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if I like it, but we'll we'll go with it. And um, if you guys like it, then you'll know how I did it. So, yeah. I don't like putting some food in your belly to give you a, a little bit of a perk in your step, huh? It's amazing how that works. And I keep like chewing up my glue stick. I'm gonna put this down just a little bit further because I want to rip that edge because it's already ripped from us ripping it before. So I don't want to, like I was saying before, I kind of want to keep the same, same thing. I don't actually think I'm going to end up getting all the videos I wanted to get done done today. So we'll just see how we get here in a bit. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet in the house right now. Is feeling a bit odd. A bit odd. And this piece will actually <laughs> maybe work out. I got Domino, the cute little old man, sitting right behind me making noise. I'm trying to not make noise, but he's making it nonetheless, huh, buddy? <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to ink, and then what I wanted to try is, um, can I get the tape that I have to look distressed like other people do with, um, they, I think they do it with um, alcohol inks, and I do have some, but I'm not exactly sure where they are. They have not surfaced since the move, so with that said... We're gonna kind of try something a little bit different. Um, and I'm gonna use this to do it with, and my tape isn't the shiny tape. It's kind of like the generic version of shiny tape. And I did one piece already, but I'm not sure that I like it. So I'm gonna go like a little bit darker first, I think. At first I just used the, um, that, uh, um, walnut stain. There you go. Sorry, I couldn't get it out. This time, I think first I'm going to try the black soot and see if I can get it darker in some areas. And then maybe go back in with the other two. I'm trying to create that old like um, aged tape. And I was hoping that maybe since my tape is that um, kind of foggy tape, that maybe I could get it to kind of emulate that other stuff. Makes sense? I don't know if it makes sense, but so, I mean, it, it turns out okay. I don't think that it's gonna rub off, I don't think. If it does, it's very little, very minimal. Okay, so let's get, let's get that out over here. Little scissors here. Get that one up. Oh, look at that. 
back. Do you see that? I had already cut off the, the end of the tape to kind of make it straighter. Oops. Boy, I'm like making a mess of stuff, huh? I'm going to have to trim that off a little bit on the edges. Yeah, I don't hate that. So it's not quite like the other ones you see others doing, but it's not a terrible replacement. And I'm betting if you had um, like a gold color, I'm betting that would look good too. Save that for a little bit later. So not a bad alternative. I think if we were to play with it a little bit more, we could come up with a good color scheme that would really make it look like those other tapes. But like I said, I don't I don't hate the way this one looks. Okay, now let's see. Or, ooh, and I got a little piece of tape in my hair. <laughs> I was just wondering if there was one of these little stickers we might want to put on it, or maybe one of Amy's numbers. Hmm. set the numbers bad. There it is. I got Alice in Wonderland in this one too. Or maybe that that is oh no that was the free one number. I think I just like it simple like that. Okay. Right, guys I think I will call that a video here are the three that we made I love that one I love how that one turned out and that's pretty cool I think that's definitely a technique we can use in the future yeah I like those yeah all right guys um I hope that you're all doing well and we will just talk to you soon bye guys